today let's see how we can exactly crimp a wire to any of the crimp connectors which are like this these are the crimp connectors now what i have is a male crimp connectors as you can see here and uh, this is something called as crimp housing there are varieties of crimp, crimp housing like 2 bit 1 bit 4 bit 3 bit crimp housing and all these crimp housings are with the 1 mm 2.54 mm pitch width and uh, to crimp a wire to this you need something called as crimping tool now this is a crimping tool of SN28B model so you can crimp the connectors something like 0.25 mm square 0.5 mm square and 1 mm square crimp connectors so this is a detachable crimp header so now using this crimp connector you can crimp any kind of crimp connectors which comes under this particular diameter so to crimp a wire onto this what exactly we need is to we need to strip the wire ins insulation till it fits in the particular area of this crimp connectors So we need to strip up the wire insulation so that this can be crimped onto the area of the crimp connector. So approximately around 3 mm of the wire insulation has to be stripped so that the wire has to fit in this particular segment. Now once you are able to keep the crimp connectors wire onto this crimp connector so take out this crimp connector from the pack so now you need to crimp this so before you want to crimp this connector so place these crimp on the crimping tool so so place it on 2.25 mm crimp connector hole as you can see here so place it carefully so that the wire has to be crimped yes once you are able to fit it onto this now place the wire on this crimp connector make sure that you have inserted the wire into the crimp so so once you make sure that the crimp connector is fitted properly onto the crimping tool now insert the wire such a way that no part of the wire supposed to come out of the crimp connector and uh, almost the part which is supposed to be connected for the wire insulation that is supposed to go inside the connector once you make sure that it is inside now just press the crimp so that it gets crimped properly yes now as you can see that the wire was properly crimped and that so now you can just use this to put it inside the crimp housing so insert it into the crimp housing so this is how you need to crimp the wire onto the crimp housing 